Hi. I had a busy day today, not just all in the studio, but I managed to do a few things. And so I was doing Easter eggs because Easter's coming up. And this was occasion from a discussion by my mum. And she was talking about the Easter eggs of her youth, which were very ornate iced Easter eggs. And they often had gifts inside them, not chocolates. And so I tried to uh, recreate some of these Victorian iced Easter eggs. I'm not sure how successful I was, but I had a bit of fun doing them. And the other thing I promised you was a glimpse into my Victorian man's den. Now this one is part of an, a bigger house and it's going to slot into the framework of the house, which is why it looks a bit unfinished around here. But it's based on my great-grandfather, who was a gentleman, and it incorporates a lot of his interests. He was from the borders in Scotland. His family were involved with horses and sheep and dogs, dog training, uh, all sorts of things like that on the border. And I've incorporated that into the pictures on the wall. He was interested in birds. He was interested in planets, reading, writing. He was a very um, polymath type of a man. And so I've incorporated a lot of those elements in this room. I've got a portrait of him here. And then below is a borderer, those fearsome lots. And above the fireplace is one of his other uh, relatives, who was a Telford, the Telford that made the uh, one of the iron bridges. And so I've incorporated quite a lot of his li life in this room. And this is the sort of detail that makes uh, miniature rooms sing, really. And I'm going to try and incorporate that into this room up here when I do the owner of the house's bedroom come dim and I'll delve into his secret hopes and dreams and hopefully it'll all reflect him and his personality and of course that reminded me of Sam who's been lurking in the background and he's arrived with his flowers for Amelia and his new suit and she not sure if she's pleased or not but she's been very discreet but I'll have to leave that relationship for a while because I really do need to get onto the structure of this Beacon Hill house. And it's going to require quite a lot of thinking. So until then, I'll see you.